This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. With Outlook 2010 comes a new look, a new interface. The introduction of ribbons that were originally designed in 2007 have arrived with full force in Outlook 2010, whereas they were only partly implemented in Outlook 2007. We are currently looking at Outlook, at our mail inbox, and across the top we have a number of ribbons. You have your home ribbon, which gives you access to the most commonly used tasks that you would want to carry out in mail. Send and receive, which allows you to effectively send and receive, or just download headers, or control what's happening at any point with your emails to and from the server. There is a folder ribbon to allow you to manage your folder structure, add new ones, delete them, edit, etc. And there is a view ribbon to change your view settings to decide what you see and what you don't see. Now there are a lot of new views in Outlook 2010, some of which you might not be keen on. We have a to-do bar, that's this area here, and that can be controlled from the view ribbon by using the to-do bar and off and away it goes. Or we can choose it minimized, in which case it's squished up and you can see it shows tasks and appointments. Or we can leave it as normal in case it uses a full screen. We have the reading pane, which is this area here, which we can choose to be on the bottom, so it's below your inbox, or off completely, or on the right, in which case it shows here. We have the navigation pane, which is this area here, and again we can choose to have that off, so you don't have a navigation pane, or you can choose to have it minimized, in which case it's stuck on the left, and you can see the inbox, sent items and deleted items, or you can choose to leave it as normal. There is a new people pane, which again can be off as it is currently, or minimized as it is here, and you can see a minimized area that tells you about the person who this email is from, or you can say normal, in which case it shows you a lot more information about the person who this email is from. And again, that can be quite useful. Now, all of these views are explored in much more depth in their relevant lesson. All we are attempted to do at this point is show you the new views that are available and how to turn them on or off should they be using up too much of your screen or annoying you. So the ribbons are effectively new. You're restricted to view, folder, send and receive and home. Now you will find that as you move from the mail, and we can move from mail to calendar for example down here, the home ribbon now has all items to do with the calendar. If we move to contacts, the home ribbon now has items all to do with contacts. And the same for tasks, they are now all task options. So the home ribbon, although fairly fixed, is context sensitive to the section of Outlook you are currently in. So depending on whether you're in tasks, contacts, calendar, or mail, you'll see a set of different options on that home ribbon. Now these ribbons can be minimized just by double clicking any one of them. And you can see that the ribbon then effectively disappears, but its tab name remains. And then a single click on any tab and the ribbon appears, but only temporarily. If we then click away, the ribbon disappears. To bring it back permanently fixed at the top of the screen, just double click the tab, and then it now fixes itself at the top of the screen. So it's double click to unpin it effectively, but you will then find a single click will allow it to pop out, but only temporarily. So I click away, it disappears. Double click, fixes it back in. So that's the ribbons, which are new to 2010, fixed in place. Even inside a new email, you'll find a set of ribbons. So we have a message tab, insert options, format, text, and review. And again, they'll be covered in much more detail when we look at creating an email and sending an email. In 2007, only this section had ribbons. The main Outlook interface didn't. So if I close this blank email, these are your ribbons. They sit across the top of the screen. The new views are all accessible from the view ribbon and we have a to do view, a people pane, which currently is off, but I can turn that on, which appears here by default, a reading pane, a navigation pane, and each and any one of those panes can either be minimized, pinned to the side or turned off should you not wish to see the items.